<laughs> Welcome to Better Connecticut. Happy Monday. I'm Kara Sullinger. You're discussing kismet before we come to you our... You sound a little raspy. I'm a little concerned. <clears throat> I have a little froggy in my a throat. Froggy. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Okay. Just want to make it's sure. It's just, I think... We should all be feeling a little extra refreshed because we fell I, back. We fell back, but you know but when that sun went. I went to church last night, and the walls didn't cave in. Thank God, I was like so happy about that. But I was going to church, and it was dark. Five o'clock mass. I know. And, I, and then I came out, and it was really dark. I mean, at least it was a little semblance of sunlight when I went in. But when I came out, it was pitch black, and I was like, whoa! Ho, ho, ho. Anyway, yeah, how are you? I'm good. I'm how good. How was your weekend? It was good. It was outside a lot on fields, so that's oh, probably why. Oh, you were watching why. the kids. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I know we can't talk about it yet, but stay tuned because all throughout yeah. this evening we'll be talking about the potential of snow. Yes, yeah, say it ain't snow. Uh, Mark, <laughs> Mark will have, and of course, Mark and Bruce will have more on that coming up on, I would assume, no, starting I'm at 4.30. Mark will have more on 5, 4.30. Um, today is National Candy Day. We want to welcome it. We want to embrace it. I actually broke into the bag of candy that I had at my house because I decided I wasn't going to be cheap and return it to BJ's. Because I was like, can you return Halloween candy? I felt really bad about doing that. But then when I went into the store on Sunday, they you bought Halloween candy and you never opened it, I never, never used it. it? never used it. Oh, well, you probably could then. No, but, I felt bad. But so you could like, do, like, repurposing like we did on the show. We make candy cakes. Had I known that we, the hero boxes would have come in, I would have brought the candy in for them. You didn't eat it all yet, did you? No, there's 134 pieces okay, left. Okay, so we're going to tell I you. I counted. How, maybe you can put I figured them. I'd ration them out for, three quarter, for a quarter of the year. You can put them in the freezer when you really need oh, something. A Twix in the freezer? Yeah. Oh, it's for emergencies. My heart be still. <laughs> All right, what's coming out with Coca-Cola? There's now cinnamon Coke and winter spiced cranberry no, Sprite. That doesn't cinnamon sound Coke, too bad. I don't know. I don't know either. Cinnamon Coke. I, you know what the thing is, is I kind of quit drinking Coke. I haven't had it in so long. So I haven't either. The cinnamon, I don't know. Every now and then I get that thirst quenching for a Coke and I'm like, you have to have a Coke, like maybe with a slice of pizza. Right. It was, it's Coke it's with pizza. Coke I used with to pizza. think you can't drink Coke without pizza or exactly. can't have pizza without Coke. Now, the cinnamon, uh, the cranberry Sprite makes sense. A lot of people have seltzer water with, with a splash cranberry, of cranberry, right, right. so I guess it's kind of like that. But these are new holiday flavors for you because um, Scott over here is already listening to Christmas music. I've already started listening to Christmas music. It's on the Hallmark Channel on Sirius XM. This weekend, what did I do? I got all of my gifts together that I'm giving out at my holiday party. I put them in the boxes with the tissue paper. Today, I will go home and wrap the rest of the gifts. Wow, you're really I am, advanced. I am not... We still have spider webbing around. up at my house. I'm I mean. not messing around this year. I'm not doing it. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna enjoy the holiday season without rushing through. Everything. I do agree with that. I like to get it all done early so you can enjoy something. All right, Jane Fonda says that she wants to get arrested every Friday. So That's what, how she wants to address climate crisis. She wants to raise awareness by getting arrested every Friday. She looks pretty good for 81. I gotta be honest. I mean, with you. look at her. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not always a. You know, she had some. She's got a. A sordid past with, uh, you know, with uh, troops and things like and that. Protesting, so, but protesting you know, she's calling stuff. these fire drill Fridays. She's always been an activist. You got to give her credit for that. She stands up for what she believes in, I guess. And she is using this. She said it's a crisis that everyone living on Earth really needs to pay more attention to. So she wants to use her celebrity to make us pay attention. So she will plan to get arrested every Friday. Every Friday. Friday. Hey, what are you doing, Jane? Getting arrested. Oh, it must be Friday. Okay. Can you go out on Friday? No, that's the day I get arrested. No, I get arrested on Fridays. I'll see you soon. See Saturday. Saturday, I'll be Saturday out. Saturday, I'm free. This Olivia Newton-John's iconic grease outfit. We told you it was going up for auction. Well, the skin-tight pants, the black leather jacket, $405,000. They estimated that it was going to go for $260,000, but somebody paid $243,200 for the jacket and $162,500 for the pants made famous by the four-time Grammy Award winner. I mean, that's that is, they got the one that they wanted. They got the one that... <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. Okay. And they got it for a lot of money. A wow. lot of money. A lot of money. So Joe Giudice has been in the news a lot. A lot of people want to know what's going to happen with their marriage. So of course, the husband of the real housewife of New Jersey, Teresa. Yes. And apparently her father went to visit him in Italy. In Italy. Why not? So her father goes and he, well, yeah, he looks a little like uh, Teresa. But uh, they went and they spent the, uh, I guess they spent a little time together in Italy. And uh, now Teresa isn't there, we noticed, but the father is there. Now I was like, does the father live in Italy? And they just managed to hook up. No, they, uh, the father lives in New Jersey with Teresa. And he went not out there. Lizard, and apparently they, they say they that she's going in a few days with the kids. Oh, she is. That's what they say. Okay. So, so they're going to maybe, I, how are they going to do this? That's what everyone wants to know. Uh, everybody wants to know. 